dulcet tones. How lovely. Yes, kind of. <gasps> oh, fudge! What am I talking about? This is what caused those tremors. It's a melody of death. Oh, my God! 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 God, 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 God! Why should I be afraid of a few puny earthquakes? What the hell? Are you afraid of that? Shit. Nice to be noticed, huh? No! Stronger demons require a constant supply of human blood, which they store in special repositories on their bodies. They're a source of great power, but also an exploitable weakness. Talk about wearing your heart on your sleeve. I understand why brains and eyes are on the menu, but why do demons like strawberries? You don't know about strawberries? <laughs> They're demon fruit, G. Fleming's idea of a practical joke on the world of the living. They're made of ground-up tongues. That's disgusting. That's not the half of it. You thought Pop Her Cherry was just a figure of speech. like a VIP. Very important pendejo. Something like that. Fleming gives his favorite souls special treatment. People who exited the world of the living in style. So, not all the 
demons are damned? Oh, everybody's damned. The VIPs are just comfortably damned. Little perks here and there. Such as? They get to keep their genitals. Let's find some darkness that gives us a clear shot at the switch. Hand that barks darkness, and they said this neighborhood was gentrifying.
Ignite. 